What's going on everybody? So today I just want to go through the events and give you guys a complete guide on uh, going through this thing. Now, I would say this event is very, very simplistic, but I want to know where you actually get your free legendary um, because supposedly we're getting that, right? Supposedly it's supposed to be free for everyone. So the event should be relatively easy and I can't really tell until I got to stage three and now I'm on. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it here on video for you guys because I know some people are actually having trouble with the puzzles as well. So keep that in mind. We're gonna go over that we're also gonna talk about the holiday challenge here real quick this one's very brief because again you only need to beat stage six to get maximum points and honestly beating stage six isn't that difficult and even then even if you're not beating stage six let's say you're beating um i don't know stage five or four you're getting a, quite a few diamonds you're only missing out on potentially like 900 diamonds which isn't a big deal it, it really is not because i mean you guys know how much energy is in this game I mean, 900 diamonds is like nothing, right? It's it's like, what is that? 1800 energy, which is hardly anything. It's it's the equivalent of three four-star eggs. So, you know, it, it's really not that big of a deal. But then we also have the world boss, which is a big deal. And I wanna just go ahead and, and test it out. I've not tried it yet, and I wanna do it on video here. First, let's start off with the Monster Nian Space Temple. Um, I've already started out this level three version, and there's, the two main puzzles that people get confused about are these little stepping stones as well as um, these little moving around. So I'm gonna go and just do these on video. Now, I've already had experience with this because I actually did this very, very quickly on my wife's account. Um, so uh, it, it was not difficult at all, but I wanted to show you guys the difficulty of these characters here. Now, previously, I would have had a million blessings. It's super difficult because they outspeed you. They have so much HP. And if we just look here and look at their speed, first off, their speed is tuned down. Second off, their effect resistance is tuned down. And third off, their HP is like one seventh of their previous HP. So way easier, way easier. Now I have a full HP burn explosion comp, as you can see here. So there's no way I'm gonna be getting killed at all, but it's very, very easy. Very, very easy, guys. Now, for this event, what you're going to do is you're going to look at this little side panel um, and you're going to find the kind of, um, I guess, round table of elements. Fire, leaf, um, S is kind of what I just repeat that. Repeat that in your head. You have fire, leaf, S. Uh, you go fire, uh, leaf, S. Fire, leaf, S. Fire, leaf, S. Fire, leaf, S. Fire, leaf, S fire leaf s and you'll be able to go through the whole thing make sure you don't double up on any tiles that will cause you to fail it but if you guys want to follow my exact path there you go again i said i was going to do it on video because i know that these puzzles can be very very tricky if you just like can't remember the um the uh the combination or you guys just aren't paying attention or you just don't even want to do it like i understand it could be annoying sometimes to do it so i completely get it if you guys are like screw this like i'm not doing this <laughs> and you guys can just follow um this video right that's why it's called a guide video because i'm here to help you through this end portion of of uh, the seal here now i obviously didn't do first and second stages uh but hopefully by doing this in this third stage you guys will basically get the hang of it because these moving pillar ones actually can be somewhat tricky sometimes um you kind of have to get the hang of these things because they can get very tricky and i probably won't show both of them in this video because they might take me like a couple minutes to beat um, but I will show one of them and I'll show you this one on the side here. And so you're gonna have to kill off all the battles over here to make sure you free up these little pillars. And again, these battles are very, very easy. Let me know if you, in the comment section down below if you guys feel like this event is way easier. I shouldn't say that. I know the event is way easier. I can literally just see the stats. Let me know if you guys had to spend any blessings is really what I wanna ask. Um, I have a feeling that if you're free to play and you have a couple of Awakened Fives, it could be tricky, but you, if you are having like an Awakened 5, full Awakened 5 team, you should easily be able to beat this whole thing. Now, what should you be able to beat it if you only have like one Awakened 5, two Awakened 5s, so like a week into the game? I think you probably should. If it's a celebration, yeah. Um, but honestly, like, I feel like they listen to feedback a lot here. And so I'm going to give them where credit's due. Okay, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Not only that, but we're also getting a free legendary. Again, I'm not sure where we find that. I assume it's going to be at the end of stage three. Um, but also, I think what would have been really cool if they wanted to do this like celebration, um, they should have given the free legendary at the end of the first stage and then the other. And then if you beat the last, the, the end of the third stage, you get like two Supreme runes, something pretty solid, right? Worth doing, um, but not something that's uh, like super, super game breaking. Or anything. So 
what are we doing for this one? Uh, it's pretty simple. We're just going to go ahead and go around the circle, make sure that they're all kind of in a line, match the pillars to whatever element it has in the front. Um, so basically, you're going to want to go S, leaf, fire, crescent, uh, square or box, and then feather here, which means that we have to go ahead and uh, um, the feather up um, and then to the side. Remember, we have to make sure we get that block over too. So it's a little confusing here, but you guys can kind of just follow what I'm doing. It's hard to kind of explain. Um, we're going to move the S up. We're going to move the feather up as well. And then we're going to move um, the, uh, where is it, the crescent down. And then move this over twice. And we're going to move the feather back in that little corner. And then this should be pretty self-explanatory from now, guys. We're just going to move all these things um, counterclockwise or clockwise here into their proper positions here. How did I just get it to Miracle Summon? Did I click on a chest in the middle? I didn't even know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to move the, all these in our proper positions. And you can see here, we're going to be able to finish this pretty simple. Uh, pretty simple. Um, it, it's not too crazy difficult. But, you know, if you've never done it, it can be tricky. So hopefully that was able to help you guys. Again, it's on video. So you guys can play it back, slow it down, whatever it is. Um, I'm not going to hear and explain every individual minute movement that I'm doing. Because, well, it's just not super difficult if you if you know what you're doing right you know what you're doing so i'm gonna go ahead and just finish up the rest of the little puzzles here then come back to you guys assuming that we're gonna get the free ledger at the end here again it's very very simplistic feather square crescent feather square crescent feather square crescent feather square crescent easy 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 um as long as you remember the pattern so all these puzzles really not too bad once you have done them once and they're not too bad i can understand if you're frustrated and you just don't want to do them totally understandable um but to be fair you know they're not difficult they're just a little time consuming which you know is i guess a complaint and a reasonable one so i'll be back in about you know i don't know five minutes or so when i finish this one on the top and then with the free legendary hopefully and uh, i'll be challenging the guild boss and then go over the holiday challenge and uh, that'll be that so we are back and we actually have the boss fight in front of us. I'm going to run into my HP burning burst comp here. I'm curious to see how difficult this truly is to see if we're going to get one shot or anything. Um, so we did get hit and yeah, we're taking quite a bit of damage, but compared to what it would be previously, it is not even close. Like we would have gotten absolutely wrecked there. And now I could just burst down the boss with my, with my HP burns and not worry about it. Like I didn't have to run any sort of Catherine tanky comp. I was able to just straight up fight it. And you can see there, this was easier than the Halloween event. And the Halloween event was doable um, for those people that have been playing a long time. And there we go. There's Paul in. Um, so very happy about that. And honestly, someone I would like to build out soon. Um, I've been thinking about building out a couple different people for Dragon Tribe. Um, I was thinking about Sinov. I was thinking about a Blue Mark. I was thinking about Paul Lin. Um, lots of options here. But the thing with Paul Lin is that it'll actually help me in Force Tower. And then also this will help me in um, Dragon Tribe a ton. Right? We need another like healer, so that's pretty important. But then this guy's gonna give max HP cap, he's gonna get a lot more defensive out, so very, very nice for that. Um, and there you go, there's gonna be all the rewards pretty awesome rewards, right? Free legendary that's a really good one. Um, and then some eggs and all that stuff. And you can see here, I have purchased zero buffs. Um, I don't know how else to, to show that. Oh, I can show the buffs, I have no buffs there, so no buffs able to beat it and you have a lot of leeway if you're free to play and you're early on in the game just wait for the buffs guys you could easily beat this with the buffs if i could easily beat it without any buffs you could easily beat it with you know 100 percent extra speed or whatever and absolutely surpass my speed just because you have so many buffs on you so pretty reasonable here and i'm very glad that they listen to feedback here the only other piece of feedback that i would have is if you're going to do the sort of the buff system make it free that's the only other piece of feedback that I have. Um, then we move on to the holiday challenge real quick, guys. Um, this one's actually very difficult. You're going to have to deal with three waves. I'll just run this. I'm not going to do anything on manual here. Um, it's just not worth it in terms of resources re uh, received. I could easily beat the whole holiday challenge in terms of gems on auto by doing stage seven. There's no reason for me to do stage eight unless I want the potions, which I may do one time to get the, the potions. Um, but you can see here, I basically run into a dungeon comp and... Um, on this comp where i have catherine i have liz i have sigmund and i have whim where i'm super survivable and then i have two hp burners in sigmund and um Hizania to go ahead and kind of just burn me burn through the waves but these waves are you know quite difficult um and then also the boss is quite difficult burn hill 
along with Greta, uh, I believe. And so, yeah, this this is a kind of a tricky stage. And honestly, most people can't even beat, you know, stage six, stage five. So yeah, it is tricky for sure. And also HP burns don't really work well on Greta. And so Greta will oftentimes get off a, a hit that might just smack and kill you. Um, so that can be pretty tricky sometimes, but um, hopefully you guys are able to beat, you know, stage four, stage five. And uh, in terms of characters that you might want to use in this, I, it's hard. It's, I mean, I don't want to say it, but survivability, lots of shields and, and healing because they do quite a bit of damage. Catherine is a great choice for this. Honestly, HP burn. HP burn is just the best way to go. You have HP burners like his Anya Sigmund. They're just so, so good for this. Um, and, and that's kind of the holiday challenge. Again, this one I wouldn't put too much thought into because the only thing you're getting is a little bit more gems. And uh, that's really it. In terms of ranking here, there has been a total of... Oh, there's actually a lot more this time. Um, only globally, like globally, 91 people in the entire world have beaten level 10. So just to give you guys an idea, that that's how difficult this event is. And I wouldn't worry about getting to stage eight, stage nine, stage 10. If you're trying to beat through stage five and stage six so you get your maximum rewards, um, you know, try to run a standard dungeon comp Play it slow, play it very survivable over lots of damage. Again, you can repeat it over and over again. If it's a 10% win rate, you still win. Doesn't cost you any energy. Um, then we have the last thing, which is the world boss. And this is the thing that I'm actually most excited about. I like these things more so than anything else in the game. Again, it looks like it resets daily, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this should reset tomorrow and or today, I guess, because my reset's at about 7 p.m. Um, and you're gonna get five miracle runes per i don't know if you get total i i'm actually kind of curious because i don't know if this is like oh you get 10 miracle runes total by beating the boss um or if this resets every day and you can potentially get you know if you beat 100 like guild bosses you get this amount of rewards i actually don't know we're gonna test it out here um let's go ahead and challenge this going into the boss guide um they literally have the same um what's it called the same skills now, what's interesting is max HP cap can reduce up to 100% of the original max HP cap. Um, so you can actually reduce the max HP. Um, we also have the passive skill. Pollen will not die. He restores self max HP to max HP um, whenever taking fatal damage and permanently gains one layer of New Year Fury, each of which increases self attack and defense by 50%, effect hit and effect resistance by 10%, and max HP cap by 100%. Pollen permanently grants self one layer of burning fuse at the beginning of self turn, each of which increases damage by 10%. Which is deafening to slashing enemies when having 20 layers of burning fuse. Um, Pollen is immune to term reduction. So it basically means after you have 20 layers, or let me see. Um, so you, it's basically like Gil Boss, right? You have 20 turns, so you need as much damage as you possibly can. And um, in terms of, you know, actually getting damage out, it, again, it's the same thing as Gil Boss. So we're probably not going to be taking a ton of damage. We just want to bring in a ton of damage. And with that, you know, in mind, I'm going to run my straight up Gil Boss comp and then see how that performs. Um, we're going to run uh, the comp that I've been running recently with Hoff in it. And I'm going to just show, see how that performs. If this is the case, then I would just refer to my spreadsheet down below and pick up the Gil Boss characters, right? Um, that's what we would want to run. So we have the effect resistance up. So that is important to note. If you have someone that has a debuff like Hoff, okay? With the effect resistance down this is going to be a pretty important one because the boss does apply that effect resistance up also stripping those buffs is going to be pretty important for you guys to go ahead and kind of get through a lot of damage on him especially if you're doing direct damage because defense up is going to hinder you quite a bit now um i'm not expecting an absolute buttload of damage on this guy all i want to do is kill him right that's what i want to do uh, but you can see here we're getting resisted a lot because we have no way to remove that buff even with the effect resistance down from Hoff, we're still getting resisted because if you look at the effect resistance of this boss, it's at 50%, um, and the speed is at 2100. So if you want to go before the, before the boss, you need more than 2100 speed, um, and if you want to land your effects, you need more than 50 effect hit. So keep that in mind when you're going through this boss. Um, other than that, guys, uh, I mean, it seems pretty simplistic. I thought it was going to be a little bit more tricky. I thought they had ads on the side and stuff, but uh, it literally is Gil Boss. At 20 turns, we should die here. So I'm expecting to die. I'm expecting to do very similar damage to what I would do if I was in Guild Boss. Um, there's not quite as many AoEs. So, you know, maybe not because of the counterattacks. But people like Ben Austin, if you guys have them, 
Catherine's a great option. After that, you know, running in with your HP burners are gonna be really good. Your bleeders are gonna be really, really good. Any person that's particularly good in guild boss is gonna be someone that you're gonna wanna run in this mode for sure. You're not taking a ton of damage, so you don't really need a ton of support. Catherine's basically the only support that I would run um, because she provides that counterattack and feebleness, which is incredibly important because you can see here, I'm not taking hardly any damage. Like I'm barely taking damage uh, and we're going to get through the second health bar here from Pollen. So I'm not worried about this at all. We're about to approach the 20 turns. And again, that's when the boss is just going to go ahead and wipe us off the face of the planet. Um, for the KOTOR reference there. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys know that, where that's coming from. But um, we're going to go ahead and, and just chill here until the boss reaches that 19th turn and then comes and smacks us on the 20th turn. Pretty excited about this, guys. Um, I'm very curious again to see how this reward works. Now that I looked at it a little bit more, I have a feeling that it's just a one-time reward of 10 Miracle Runes if you guys beat the whole boss and it doesn't reset daily. That's how I think it works. Um, but you know, we'll have to see. So there's turn 19. There's the big one shot. No problem. We did 75 million damage. That's enough to kill the whole boss. Um, and in terms of rankings, I mean, we got, um, second in the individual ranking. Cool. Well, so we have event ranking. I did, I'm at 833. So I'm going to get some diamonds. Cool. Guild ranking. Um, our guild is ranked 69th. Nice. <laughs> nice nice <laughs> um which is cool i guess i don't really care about the guild ranking to be honest um yeah it just doesn't doesn't really matter to me but uh um in terms of event ranking yeah so we got tons of damage out um not bad not bad at all i'm curious to see if this is just like a one-time hit or what and then in terms of progress not sure what happens here so we did 100 percent yeah and then we get we get the um guessing we get the rewards at the end of the day i'm not sure i'm gonna run two more of these and see how the event ranking shape up at the end of it because i'm curious to see if you let's say you wanted to go ahead and increase your rankings here um for uh i don't know like the guild rankings or the event rankings or your individual ranking. The individual ranking is the most important because you get 10 Miracle Runes if you're first place. Um, you definitely want to shoot for like that top, looks like top 10. Top 10s, you're going to get three Miracle Runes. So if you can, go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do two more runs of this and see if it changes anything. Again, run your guild boss run. And I don't see my, my team in here. What the heck? What? Oh, you can only use the same team or you can only you can use separate teams oh so now that's interesting you can only use one of your main team now that is something important to know uh so if you guys want the most damage out of it you have to make sure that you're running the proper teams at the proper times um otherwise you're not gonna get a ton of value out of this so we're gonna go ahead and run in with this team here i'll run zia yeah we'll run this um, i'm gonna go ahead and run this and i'll be back again i want to see if it calculates the proper amount of damage for the individual ranking and i can see if i could take that first so i went ahead and did 33 million damage and it looks like it does calculate in terms of event ranking i am now approaching the first place it looks like i won't be able to and oh wow yeah there's no way <laughs> uh, this guy's an absolute whale um you know exclusive five is on exclusive three benost exclusive two Nordak, luna in there as well yeah there's no way i'm gonna be able to go ahead and beat that but we did come close I'm kind of impressed. We need what 25 more million damage. Can we can we do that with just Sigmund? I don't think so. I, I have very, very little um confidence in, in this team to, to beat 25 million damage. Uh, but who knows? You know, maybe I'll surprise myself here. Other than that, guys, I mean that's pretty much everything that this event has to offer. Let me know what you guys think about this event. I personally find this event very, very fun and enjoyable. I like the feedback that they took. I like the changes that they made. Um, I'm still hoping that they'll listen to our feedback and not continues with, continue with these Miracle exclusive um, characters where you can only get them from the Miracle summons. And then after that, you can't exclusive them and you can't get them anywhere else. Um, I think that's a little annoying and honestly pretty um, unfun. That's the big problem I have with it is that it's unfun. Um, I, I think that 
fine, make an exclusive character only available in the Miracle Summons for that time, but then give people the option to go ahead and use their Dragon Eyes on these characters. I think that's really the only change you need to make. And then I am totally fine with exclusive characters because I think that kind of adds an interesting dynamic to the game. Um, but I don't like the fact that it's exclusive and then it's exclusive for the exclusives. If that makes sense. Um, but there's like one extra step that you have to take. And honestly, no free to play player, even if you had saved since day one, you would not have been able to get Paul in um, at exclusive to exclusive three at all, assuming you're on average luck, right? You probably couldn't even bring it to exclusive one. You probably couldn't even get two copies of Paul in if you had saved since day one. That's how crazy uh expensive this this uh these characters are um right uh well in this case you got a free copy so that that doesn't necessarily uh, compute but 122 million damage um honestly i'm pretty happy about that when i'm competing with an e3 ben austin and all that stuff i think we did pretty good to be honest i think i think we definitely definitely did pretty solid so i'm happy about that we're gonna probably chill at rank two excited for that amount of damage um let me know again what you guys think about uh this event Really, there isn't much more to say. Make sure you're doing um, your holiday pass quests uh, to get your epic dra uh, Draconite, whoa, at the end there. Uh, I've been saving up my Miracle Summons. I've been thinking about Summon for Pollen. Um, I might have a video talking about whether or not you should Summon for Pollen. You can see I have 90 saved up, which is actually quite a bit. Um, so, you know, I'm considering just going all in on Pollen. But I don't necessarily think that that's like the best option for most people. Uh, but because I'm going to be using them in... Um, in Dragon Tribe Factions, which I have his Zanya, Melia, Rim, Reeves for, and Hoff. Um, I feel like I'm in a really good spot to go ahead and take advantage of that because I have some of the strongest Dragon Tribe characters in the entire game to take advantage of another Dragon Tribe character. So I might go for it personally for my account, but <coughs> Woo! I'm dying here, guys. The event is making me sick uh other than that guys hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this was helpful and hopefully you guys just enjoyed playing along with the event um with me or if you guys were confused about some certain part um hopefully this video ended up being a little helpful for you thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed sub to the channel like this video see you all